And now for more on Premier Lee's uh, visit to Brazil, let's talk to our correspondent, Stephen Gibbs, in uh, Rio de Janeiro. Hello there, Steve. Uh, Premier Lee ha is now in Rio de Janeiro now. What are the highlights of his visit to the city? Well, I think certainly in terms of the image, in terms of the television images, the highlight was when Premier Lee travelled on, on the Rio Metro, something, of course, millions of people in this city do every day, but it was a little different when he did so. And, of course, he did so for a different reason. He did so because he was riding on a Chinese-built train. China has been building several of the trains for Rio's extended underground system. This has been a bit of an issue here in Rio because with the Olympics coming next year, this is a city that needs to sort its public transport out. And China has been part of that project. Now, when he left the, the sort of photo op on the train, also Premier Li said something that has caught the headlines here. And that was that is that China and Brazil are considering, and it does seem a quite far along the route, are planning to build a joint factory here in Rio to build trains. Um, in a way that, that uh, reflects a lot of what we've been hearing from both Premier Li and President Rousseff during this uh, two-day visit, and that is that this isn't just about a relationship about import and export. It's a relationship that's deepening. It's about investment. And Premier Li has uh, repeatedly in speeches made the point that uh, Chinese investment is going to help, in his view, Brazil and Brazilian workers. It's not a question of just Chinese money coming in and going out, but this is a sort of uh, longer term plan and will help employment here in Brazil. So needless to say, that was a welcome message here in Brazil. Right. And uh, a number of uh, investment deals have been signed between China and Brazil this time. What more can you tell us about those deals? Have uh, the final details of those agreements been agreed upon? Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's important to make the point that, of course, tens of billions of dollars are being talked about, but, uh, you know, checks aren't being written. It's much more uh, uh, statements of agreement, statements of intent. One of the big headline agreements from yesterday is this plan, this very, very ambitious plan to build a railway from the Atlantic to the Pacific, from Brazil to Peru, which if achieved, would be a sort of transformational thing to do uh, in terms of shipping stuff from Brazil to China and the way that uh, raw materials and other, other goods are, are shifted around this part of the world. Now, what was agreed was a feasibility study. That will no doubt be a very serious feasibility study, but we're a long way off, of course, uh, that being actually signed off. That said, there were some very substantial agreements that were announced at the same time that Premier Li was in Brazil. One is that Embraer, the uh, Brazilian aircraft manufacturer, signed off a $1 billion deal to, to sell jets to China. Another one was uh, the lifting, for example, of, of Brazil's uh, uh, ban on Brazilian beef being exported to China. That was all sorted out. And also the Bank of Commerce uh, in China uh, has agreed to buy 80 uh, percent, I believe, of a Brazilian bank. So there were serious uh, deals and serious money were being signed off. But some of the big, big headline stuff, of course, is going to take months and possibly years to, to, to see through the whole project.